Lara as an icon to the younger generation, she's great because she is that, that kind of clean living, um, all round good person. I think it's a, I think it's an intelligent game. And I think it's also really obvious she's, you know, she's built. Women want to be here, men want to be with her. And uh, I think that's a recipe that works across both genders. A video game for us is about escapism. It's a way of people maybe being something that they couldn't be in real life. The history of Lara came from an E3 show where I saw for the first time Sony PlayStation and was like, wow, this is the future. This is where gaming is going. This is such a cool machine. Came back, said, these are the games that we've got to beat. These are the games we've got to get better at. It started like that. It actually allowed us to sort of bring a, a sort of a dream that we had of what the game could be using the then, you know, technology. One of the guys said, I've got this great idea for a pyramid game. And like, Egyptian guy said, yeah, I just love that idea. And six months later, he said, there's the character, what do you think? Very cool, but Indiana Jones, and it was this male character. And I said, you know, where's his wit? We're gonna get sued, we need to change it. Literally, a week later, I changed it, and there was uh, Lara. It's a woman. <laughs> You've gone from a man, and now you put put a woman there. You know, you're going mad. And I said, no, no, no it's going to be really, really cool. You know, she's got to do so many different things that men can't do. The game was about solving puzzles and looking after this character. And actually, what we did, we wrote all the characteristics of the character down on a piece of paper. We wanted the characters to certainly have an agility, almost a coyness. And the more we looked down this list. Um, the more it pointed towards being a female character. She was called Laura Cruz. And then we had to change the name because Americans can't say Laura. Laura like an English Laura. And they kept going, Laura. We go, there's Laura, there's Laura. And then Cruz didn't work. Our perspective as, as English people is that the American people like a lot of our history, a lot of the things that, that England has that we take for granted. And we thought, well, let's really utilize that. That's why we changed her name from Laura Cruz, because to us that sounded more of an American name to Laura Croft. And Tomb Raider was born from that. I think the game came at a breakthrough time in the industry. Technology took a, a significant leap from the, the sort of 2D graphics into 3D graphics. And the gameplay, which is very compelling. You're an adventurer, you're in a world, you're fighting, you're going around finding objects with a very involved storyline. Ah, Miss Croft. I take it you're ready to sign on. To what? The timing for Lara um, was so good because it, there was this whole shift in the demographic of what was happening, if you like, in the whole female movement. We knew that we wanted this character to be something other than a person that carried guns and just shot things because that wasn't what the game about. All of a sudden, the women were, were far more confident in, in what they wanted to do and, and sort of, you know, why the guys, you are no better than we are. We can do what you guys can do and hey, get out of our way because we're coming through. There's certainly been other female characters in video games, but I think we were the first one really to, to take it and only be a female character. You know, the easy option for us in, in Tomb Raider would have been to say, let's have a female and a male character, and you can select which one to be. But we thought this was key to the game, being a female character, that the male players would, would relate more to the character. They'd feel more in keeping, they wanted to, to nurture Lara and make sure, you know, that she was protected and that she was, she could survive the ordeal that was facing her. Tomb Raider 2, which is, is some six years ago now, when obviously uh, the, the Lara sort of phenomenon was, was really taking off, um, there was almost a feeding frenzy around for what we were going to do next with Tomb Raider. And uh, lots of people were actually asking and assuming that we were going to go off and do a almost a, a computer-generated movie along the lines of sort of Toy Story, and, and they were very popular then. Um, at the same time, the interest was sort of, you know, it became fairly apparent that 
Lara as a character could make that transition from video game screen onto the onto the big screen. Our biggest concern when we were looking for a partner with the movie was exactly what they're going to do with Lara. Lara is our Mickey Mouse, uh, and we're as protective over her as Disney is over Mickey, and we had to be pretty sure that we could say no. Paramount were the only company that were, were, that were prepared to do that, the only movie studio that were prepared to do that. We were very involved in, in looking at the script and, and the cast and the characters to make sure, once again, that the integrity of the property was maintained because it was such a big part of our business, and we felt we didn't really want to compromise and certainly with Angelina, who is, the, there was no second choice. She's the, the perfect Laura Croft. In my opinion, I don't think they could have got anybody better to be Lara Croft. She has so many of the sort of attributes that we've always thought Lara, she's, you know, she is a very uh, strong-willed person. She really just also got a very soft and feminine side. Angelina Jolie has all of those attributes. She really took it to heart. She accepted everything, all the challenges. When I was down and, and seen her on the set, you know, she was in harnesses bouncing above 100 feet above us and uh, staggering, absolutely staggering. She's got all those things. She has uh, all the things we love about James Bond. She's got all the cool stuff and uh, she comes from a certain past and history and a certain kind of, a, you know, uh, she's, she's got all that sexy intelligence, but she's, uh, but she's also Indiana Jones and she's a real active person. The game and the movie are two different things. It just so happens that the movie is using a star of the game. For us at the moment, we're working a lot on what we're calling Next Generation Tomb Raider. And I think that the time has come maybe for Lara to, to meet other characters and, and interact with other characters. And other characters play much more of a, a part of Lara's adventure. The character that you see on the screen will be sharper, will, will have better animation. And, and once again, your association with realism will, will be much better because of the technology. Listen, the great thing about Lara is she can have a tuck and a lift and no one even notices. So she's in 30 years, she's still going to be around. I mean, who knows, she may get married and have children. And they'll be Lara, the daughter. Can you imagine? That would be great.